guess who it is. Ready? We'll say it on three. One, two, three. It's... Did you get it right? It's the producer. Let's go. We have the producer here to ask your questions. So, this is our first Q&A on the channel. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great week. Happy Thursday, not hump day. Pack up. Roll up. Heat up that rig. Got a live audience here. Cheers. We already started smoking. When did you first start smoking? When did I first start smoking? I was 15. Uh, I think I was, it was the summer between freshman year and sophomore year of high school, but if you're that young, maybe you shouldn't. But uh, my experience was pretty lame. I don't think I got high. What was fun about the whole thing was I went to my friend's mom's house, apartment or whatnot, just to give you an idea because we ended up going out and exploring the complex, but uh, we ended up trying to see if any of us had rolling paper. None of us did. We looked for a Bible, nothing, nothing in the house. <laughs> the producer just dropped the joint. <laughs> making a homemade bong and it was out of a huge like brisk bottle brisk baby now I'm thinking about the hey hey I'm the chaos baby <laughs> Fortnite jam track the p-boys all right sorry next question what's the worst time you got caught by your parents or or your school before parents were cool with you smoking so I don't think that I was ever caught <laughs> by my mom or the school <laughs> um, just because I again didn't actually start smoking till I moved out junior year for a moment and uh when I was living with my first girlfriend and so I was able to smoke whenever I'd be smoking with her family or whatever so my mom never really knew and then in school I was doing other activities <laughs> shall I say bringing a water bottle with some clear liquid so I was never caught by my school <laughs> but I did hear I did hear I did hear about the kids who were caught. Um, one sec. And what would happen, what I've heard, is that <laughs> the producer's trying so hard not to cough over here. <laughs> I used to hear that if the principal smelled it on you, he was a pretty chill, laid back kind of dude, um, he would just have you come down to his office and he would make you just change your clothes. <laughs> nothing was sent home or anything just because it was it was like that at my school I don't know I'm done with the joint but let's go ahead and answer that next question what's your favorite movie genre to watch while stoned what is my favorite movie genre to watch while stoned okay oh man I'm glad the producer's here because she can also give you her answer um <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Should we start that when you answer some some of these questions? She's thinking. We'll see if she does. No pressure on the producer. But I would say maybe it's got to be 
let's say maybe with a bunch of guns um, or a psychological thriller I think my heart rate is gonna be too high up there and I might I might just start panicking a little and uh, I'm gonna go with comedy I can answer a few of them I'll pick sorry <laughs> um, but I would say my favorite movie John <laughs> when watching movies, like you gotta. <laughs> so I would just stick with that in general, I guess. Okay. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Do you want to give your answer? Okay, okay. My sister convinced me of this. I think my answer used to be different, but this one time she said shape shifting. And I was like, oh, interesting. If you shapeshift, you could be a bird and fly, if that's what you wanted. You could have a different haircut every day. You could look however you wanted. You could just, you could just be so many things. I think that one is my pick. That is, that is interesting. Uh, because I was going to pick flying. <laughs> I think no matter what, flying has been my number one superpower that I've wanted to have. Flying, 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 flying. I know you're you're almost convincing me, but I would not want to be a bird. Those things are so freaky. Yeah. Turtle. I'm gonna stick with flying, but not shape shifting. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. How did you meet the producer? <gasps> How did I meet the producer? Well, she applied to be my producer, so I took a look at her resume, and I was like, hell yeah, swipe right. Tinder. We met on Tinder. What a build-up. What's your favorite music genre? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I don't know. Um, it's a tie. Maybe it's a three-way tie. Oh, the producer's shaking her head no. She thinks she knows me well, but let me let me give my opinions first. My options here are country. I am a huge country fan, but like five, six, maybe seven years ago, well, maybe even almost ten years ago, I had finally started listening to like indie pop or just indie music in general, and uh, I would say that's up there too, but the producer is still looking at me like I'm wrong. She might have to say it's rap, but I don't know. She, she's covering her mouth, so I'll, I'll let her answer. The only reason I would think it's rap, recently you have been playing a lot of country, so maybe, maybe you could be right. Yeah, and, but at that time, definitely play more rap. And if you're gonna say, dare I say, is your favorite artist Night Lavelle? And what is he? Is he a country singer? I don't know, man. <laughs> Moving on. What is your favorite food when you're high versus when you're sober? Let me do so. It's obviously Chipotle. It's obvious. It's so obvious. Chipotle. But if we're talking about a home-cooked meal, when I'm sober, like the producer said, we smoke a lot. <laughs> so, when am I eating and I'm sober? Maybe at other, at other people's homes. But in that case, we always get 
exactly what I typed into YouTube um, when I found ASMR. I think it was maybe 10 years ago. It was about the time I was 14, 15 maybe. Um, I, I know that I ended up watching a Minecraft video and it was, I don't know if it was soft spoken or whispering, but man, did I get a blast of tingles. Holy shit. And ever since then, I, I've been in love. This is my second ASMR channel. I had created one when I first started watching it, but oh my god. And why did I start? Well, I couldn't sleep, and at the time, I was living with my mom, so, and I was pretty young, so I wasn't smoking at home. So I just stay up all the time. <laughs> so, um, I'm glad I found ASMR because holy shit, does that knock you out? <laughs> Do you still? Oh, oh shit, that was loud, sorry. Do you love traveling and where do you still want to go? I fucking love traveling. Oh my god, a good road trip. I'm there, I will say yes immediately. And I think I have, haven't we done that a few times? We just say yes. Last minute, let's do it. And you said, where do I want to go? Maybe somewhere in Europe, I think, um, yeah, I think that'd be fun. Or I love going to Pensacola, Florida. So either one is great with me. What did you study for in school? Now, I, I did not graduate college or anything, but what I did go for was psychology. I think psychology is so freaking cool. So that's what I chose. But if I could choose something else, I would say probably not because at that point I wouldn't know what else to study. What are your hobbies outside from ASMR? That is a good question. What are my hobbies? I honestly, this, I don't know if this is sad or maybe it's just kind of generically. A lot of people do it. I would say play video games. I happen to look at the Fortnite shop every day at 8pm <laughs> just to see if there's any other cool skin I could buy. <laughs> that sounds like so geeky. <laughs> but I, I love it, yeah. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't think I have anything else that I specifically do all the time, but video games I would say I'm at least playing once a day. That's all I got, yeah. But something I think that would be fun is to learn an instrument, like a, a guitar specifically, but I've had a really bad experience with trying to tune it, and the string just smacked me in the face because I tightened it too much. Oh, have I been afraid ever since. What is your dream? I love a Volkswagen Beetle. No, 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 no. I think they're so fucking cute. Don't let her fool you. We went to a car show, and one of her favorites was the Volkswagen Beetle. Okay, old school Beetles. They're sick as hell. They are bad. They are so nice. Producer was choking over here. <laughs> but my all-time favorite since I... I can remember is a Mustang, and at the time it was like a 2007 to 2009 Mustang, whoa, Mustang GT. Um, the exterior color that I wanted was either black with a dark blue stripe, or dark blue with a black stripe. is my dream car, but lately I have been wanting an SUV and I want a Subaru, Forester, maybe an Outback, but right now I've been having a tough decision trying to figure out what I actually want, because a Mustang, let me tell you, I've driven a couple of those bad boys, and Jesus, do I want one. <laughs> what is your current job? My current job is to maintain the household, watch the kids, feed the kids and do anything around the house that I can. I am unemployed at the moment, but I just gotta take care of the regular duties. I work at a casino. <laughs> what are your 
favorite movies? My favorite movies? It's gonna have to be the entire Saw series. I love number two, specifically. And, um, other genres. I love The Notebook. Um, and, honestly, I really like Zombieland. I watched it again for the millionth time yesterday. And it is just so good. Zombieland 2 is great, too, but the original... and the original one really freaks me out. I really like some zombie movies. I don't know, I think it's an odd, like, kind of genre to throw in with my usuals, but for some reason, I really like them. So if y'all have any recommendations, please. <laughs> oh, and the tall grass. And the tall grass. Yeah. That's in the tall grass, not and. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite memory from your childhood? I think my favorite memory would have to be putting my brother in the dryer. <laughs> I didn't force him, and I've, I think I've said this story before on the channel, but he had asked me if, if I could press start on the dryer. We were really, really young, okay, really young, under the age of, I would say, 12 for sure. 12 and 11, under that. Um, that kind of sounds old to, to be doing that, but uh, he ended up putting a bunch of pillows in the dryer and, you know, because we knew that he'd be tumbling in there, so let's protect his head, okay? And I press start, and he starts screaming. Okay, first of all, his body's going, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> and he starts screaming, like, get him out. He wanted out so bad, and so I start opening the thing. I'm not trying to kill my brother or anything, and uh, I try to open the door, and it is not opening, so I have to call my mom while he's tumbling in there, and I'm like, the door won't open, and it's because I'm so small, I couldn't open it, and finally I got it, but then after that, my mom ended up leaving work. She was working an hour away, leaving work, had to come back, and... Uh, by that time, we had almost tried to put him in the washer, so that would be my favorite memory. We did not go through with the washer. Bro, <laughs> why were you guys gonna do the washer? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Maybe on like a lighter note, this one time, have, have they seen Oreo? I have no idea. Maybe. If y'all know Oreo, he's mainly a little thicker. <laughs> um, Oreo was my childhood cat, so I've had him since I was like five or six. This one time, we took him to this creek, like kind of behind our house. He was on a leash and like a harness and stuff, but at that time he liked going on walks, and we took him to the creek, and he walked up he just got in and started doggy paddling. I was like, what the fuck? I thought this was a cat. So that was fun. <laughs> he's so, he's so fucking cute. Oh, earlier, he had shoved his body into a really small corner just to lay on a mouse. <laughs> it was a toy mouse, though. We wrote down, we didn't write down, Bean wrote down these questions, and it says, Ying, the producer, instead of behind. <laughs> Context on being the producer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had wrote that really bad. I am positive that I was high when I was writing that. Um, his name was 
Could you do an ASMR video with the producer? Well, I hope this satisfies. She will not be on camera. I'm sorry, but she said that she would try to be in some of these videos a little more often, so hey, she's here today. And finally, what mic and what camera? Producer.